Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel for the love of dogs. Uh, today's video is going to be a dog food review video. Um, I'm going to just let everybody know um, the dog food I feed and I will just let everybody know it is grain free. Um, and some people might comment about that, um, but before you do, please do some research on it. Um, and not research that is made by Hills or Purina. Um, read one that is actually a good one. I'll probably just put a link in the description to a one that's written by Vets. Um, it was an updated version of the whole grain free thing. Um, uh, they had a conference in January and there's an article about it. Um, which a lot of the vets even say that there is no sufficient evidence relating the dilated cardiomyopathy, uh, DCM, to um, grain-free diets. Um, there are grain-free foods that I wouldn't feed to a dead animal. Um, there have horrible, horrible ingredients in it, so I wouldn't think that 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 would probably make a dog sick, but that has nothing to do with the grain free. That's just the ingredients in the horrible dog food. Um, but I like to feed my dogs the best food that they can eat. I do a ton, a ton of research on dog food, um, all the time. <laughs> um, kind of a dog health nut, I guess. Um, I don't give my dogs any treats. Um, I give them like broccoli, carrots, um, lettuce, like vegetables as a treat. I don't give them real dog treats, really, um, or any other human foods, um, at all. Um, but let me get into it. So, um, I was feeding Merrick, um, I love Merrick dog food. Um, I was feeding the limited ingredient dry food, um, as long as well as the farmer's dog, but I wanted to cut out all dry food um, because dry food sticks to dog's teeth. So that is just a little fun fact. Um, so it can create problems with your dog's teeth faster. Um, you would think it wouldn't, but it does. It sticks to their teeth and creates problems. So um, I feed, this is one of um, the farmer's dog's packs. I love the farmer's dog. Absolutely love it. Um, so this is one for Matilda, um, one of my mother-in-law's dogs. Um, so they come in like daily pouches, right? And so this one, and it says the farmer's dog, Matilda's turkey recipe, feed Matilda a quarter pack per day, packaged with love on March 15th, 2021. Um, <clears throat> and so in this, um, the ingredients, it's just, um, I think it's turkey, turkey, chickpeas, spinach, um, carrots, um, broccoli, and then vitamins. There's nothing else in it. Literally nothing else. And all of their meat is hormone antibiotic free, which is great. I love that. Um, and Matilda is really old. She's 14. She's a little Yorkie. And she was not doing so well, um, health wise. And then we switched to the farmer's dog. I buy it for Thor as well. Um, and Matilda, started gaining weight and running around the house and doing so well again, which was great to see. Um, but I'll give you a little what I do um, because the farmer's dog is a bit expensive, um, but it is not raw. So let me just tell you that. Um, it is lightly steamed so that you, there's no like salmonella or anything like that that you can get, but it's not like cooked to where all of the nutrients in all of the food is burned away like it is in kibble um so it's that's great um but so because it is a little bit expensive um i forget how many weeks i get but it's a few it's a few months that i get worth of thor's food um and it's 166 dollars but i think it's like three months i believe it's three months worth of food so that's really not bad in my opinion um but because I have three dogs, um, instead of doing that for every dog, what I do is I don't feed it to them every single day, um, but I'll feed like a half a pack. I'll literally just unthaw it um, and just cut it in half. And I'll feed half mixed with 
the Honest Kitchen, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but I mix that together um, and just distribute it throughout my dogs instead of um, buying it for each dog. Um, there is Darwin's dog food. Um, they also have cat food. I feed that to my cat. Um, so this, I guess maybe I could turn this into being a cat review as well for cat food. Um, because I switched over to Darwin's, uh, cat food and it's a raw diet. So you need to take the food away, um, after a certain amount of time and wash your hands after touching it. But Adeline, um, my cat, she... I mean, she is doing, she was starting to like scratch and I didn't know what was going on with her. Um, I had taken her to the bed and they were like, I don't know, it's not allergies or anything. I don't know what was going on. But after switching to that food, she eats her food very quickly. She has always kind of grazed. Um, we only put food out twice a day, but she was always not eating it right away. Um, but with this, I mean, she just mows through that food. She loves it. And she's drinking a whole lot less water. Um, cause you know, you got to think cats and dogs in the wild. I know long time ago, lions and wolves and stuff, but either way still derived from that. Um, but those animals in the wild are eating live animals and they're killing them and eating them. So there is a lot of water in the meat that they're eating in the wild. So when you think of a dog and a cat eating kibble, think of how dehydrated. It's like us eating like crackers all the time. You know, you would be constantly thirsty. So, um, so that's why I like the farmer's dog and the Honest Kitchen and the Darwin's food. Darwin's is a bit cheaper than the farmer's dog, um, but it is raw. Um, their dog food is as well. So you just wash your hands and stuff. Uh, Darwin's has all um, non-GMO, uh, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, all that meat. Um, so it's, it's really healthy and really good. It only has ingredients that is necessary for that animal. Um, like cats, cats are true carnivores. Cats do not have the enzyme. They don't naturally produce the enzyme that um, breaks down carbohydrates so they should not be eating like any vegetables they don't they don't need that they can't process it naturally um so they just need meat so the darwin's cat food is little pouches kind of similar to the farmer's dog they do it for their um darwin's does it for dogs too but it's a little pouch and each pouch is a day's worth of food um for Darwin's. So it's great and easy, just unthought. Like, um, we thought, we unthought ours the day before we're going to need it. Um, so it's great whenever we take out one that she's going to eat, we just take one out to unthaw at the same time. Um, but it's all great, great food. Um, and Adeline, our cat, has, she's not drinking nearly as much water, and neither are our dogs that they were when they were eating dry food. Um, so it's great, very great. Um, but so the Honest Kitchen, um, I'll post links um, to the Honest Kitchen. You can get that on Amazon and then I'll post um, the Farmer's Dog and Darwin's links to their website. So if you wanna check those out. Um, and both of them, um, the Farmer's Dog and Darwin's, both will ask you your dog's age, the weight, um, and then if it has any ailments, like if it has cancer or anything like that, they will use special ingredients or more meat or whatever the case might be um, to help with your dog. So it's, it's great. It's really customized to your individual dog. But so the Honest Kitchen, I have these two things. This one is goat milk and this one is turkey bone broth. So goat milk has a lot of, goat milk is um, something that is very, very good for your dog's um, immune system. It's great. And so is turkey bone broth. Both have great things. Um, they're just natural things um, that are really, really great um, with your dog. And both of them are dry. I'll show you. This goat milk is almost gone. So I don't know if you can really see in there. Um, but it's just, it's powder. Both of them are powder. Um, and you just add some water and mix it up a little bit and just as like a topper. Um, 
So for like dogs one to 25 pounds, it's a half a tablespoon of the powder to a quarter cup of water. Um, and I'll usually do a full tablespoon and a half a cup of water and distribute that amongst all the dogs. Um, and I just add them as like a topper. I switch between like a tiny, tiny, like a, a half a teaspoon of coconut oil I will do per dog um, one day and then another day I'll do goat milk and then bone broth. I just mix it up. Some nights I'll just chop up carrots and put that on just for extra. Um, carrots are great for dogs. Um, but just, you know, a great topper. Um, and then the Honest Kitchen. This is the big, big box. It's huge. Um, and I love, I love their box. It's great. They've got all of the ingredients that's in it just around the box. So like 18 pounds of cage-free turkey, five and a half bunches of spinach, 10 handfuls of cranberries, three and a half bunches of celery, 10 decorded apples, a half a coconut, eight potatoes, 22 carrots, and seven and a half eggs. <laughs> um, and then that's literally all the ingredients um, until the vitamins, that's it. Um, and this comes in a powder. So, well, it is powder um, and you add water to it. Um, and what I do to make it easier, um, and also it's 100% human grade, um, food grade ingredients. No animal feed grade ingredients. Um, and it's made in a human food production facility. I mean, it's, I mean, if you buy it and you look at it, the powder, I mean, it honestly, if like the pandemic continued and we weren't allowed to leave our house, I'd probably just eat it because it looks very good. <laughs> um, but it, um, so for what we do, um, so we're feeding five dogs at the house right now. And um, all of them are small. The biggest one's 13 pounds. So the how much you do will be different. Um, but I do um, three quarters of a cup. I get little Ziploc baggies. and I, I put three quarters of a cup of the dry in a Ziploc baggie. Um, and then... I, I just do the entire box. So I get three quarters of a cup in a plastic baggie until, you know, in however many plastic baggies, it's like 40 plastic baggies, um, little Ziploc bags. Um, and I just measure them all out. And then when I go to um, make it, so then it's all just pre-done, pre uh, makes it a little bit easier on me so I don't have to measure it out every time. Um, and then I do, it's one quarter cup more water than it is the dry. So three quarters of a cup of this and then one cup of um, water. Um, and then I just mix it around in the bag, let it sit for like three minutes um, while I'm making up all the plates and then making up the either the bone broth or the goat milk while I'm doing all that. Um, I let it sit in the little baggies and then just distribute it throughout the dogs. Um, it's it's really easy and the dogs love it and the farmer's dog. I even gave a, some of the farmer's dog to a friend of mine for him to try for his dogs and loved it. I mean, I haven't met a dog who doesn't like the farmer's dog. Um, and our dogs go crazy over the Honest Kitchen. And it's so good for them. I mean, so this big box is $90. Um, but I'm feeding five dogs and they're little dogs. This lasts me a month for all of them. Um, which to have very healthy dogs, none of them are overweight. And none of them, like our dog Bug, she's always had stomach problems. Um, and she does great. So... I mean, it's worth it to me. It's the health of your dog, so I don't know. But um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and it says on this box, um, so like this box is, I don't know how much this box weighs, but it makes 40 pounds of food. So it's, it's a lot of food. <laughs> um Please don't buy grocery store dog food, please. Um, go on Dog Food Advisor and look up, you know, foods. Um, all these foods, 
or five star reviews don't have recalls. Um, the only issue Darwin has had is salmonella, but that's with people, not with the pets. That's people not washing their hands and stuff. But that was a long time ago that they even had that. Um, but like I said, link will be in the description. Um, if there's any videos that you guys want me to make or anything you're curious about, um, just leave a comment and I will make a video on that.